Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the 36 volt system with battery switch and we're going to add charger to charge all batteries at the end. So this is my battery switch wiring diagram going up with one crank battery, one house battery. This wiring diagram is going up fast. If you guys want to see it step by step, you need to go on my YouTube channel and look for the battery switch wiring diagram. Now that this wiring diagram is done, we're going to move it up and to the left corner. So we can start plugging our extra batteries for the 36 volts. At this point, we're going to move down the house battery. So it's going to be a little clearer when we do our connections for the 36 volt system. We're going to need to add two more deep cycle batteries to be able to reach to our 36 volts. All right, it's time to connect these three batteries together. As we can see, we're going to need to connect them in serial to get to our 36 volts. A little side note, please use the right size gauge wire for your electric engine. OK, let's continue. So we're going to take the positive of the house battery and bring it to the negative of the middle battery. And then we'll have to take the positive of the middle battery and connect it to the negative of the third battery at the end. Then we'll take the positive of the third battery, connect it on a reset circuit breaker. Do not forget the reset circuit breaker. And then it could go to the 36 volt trolling system. Only one connection missing is the negative of the trolling system. So we'll connect it to the negative bus bar. This is a complete system. Now, how do we charge these batteries? Let's go find a charger that can do this. One little side note. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's continue with the charger. For this kind of setup, I would use the charger Noco Genius 10 times 4. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm not affiliated with Noco Genius. I'm not sponsored by Noco Genius. I just like to use their products. We'll take output one of the Noco Genius and connect it to the cranking battery. So the black wire to the negative of the battery and the red wire to the positive of the battery. And now we'll connect the house battery. So we'll take another output of the Noco Genius and connect the black to the negative of the house battery and the red to the positive of the house battery. And now we'll move on to the metal battery. Same process. You take another output of the Noco Genius. You connect the black to the negative of the battery and the red to the positive of the metal battery. One battery left, one output on the Noco Genius left. Let's connect them. Black to the negative of the battery and red to the positive of the last battery. Now make sure your battery switch is set on off. You can plug your Noco Genius and all four batteries will start to charge. Now, that's said and done. When you're on your boat, on your switch box, that you select one for cranking battery, two for house battery, or one and two together, house battery and cranking battery, you will still have your 12 volts. The only thing that has 36 volts is your electric engine. A little bonus for the ones that have a 24 volt trolling engine. All you need to do is remove the last battery and you've got your 24 volt for your trolling engine. And you could get the Noco Genius that has three outputs instead of four. All right, we're done. I hope this has helped. If you got any questions, write them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, 
like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Thanks.